Well, hello, good evening, and welcome back to Rainbow Investing, where we examine a spectrum of ideas to build long-term wealth. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We are going to be looking at how to build a cryptocurrency portfolio just using Microsoft Excel. Now, I've made several videos about using Microsoft Excel to build and manage a live stock portfolio using just Excel. But today we're going to be looking at cryptocurrencies because cryptos are also being integrated into Microsoft Excel and we can now use Excel to build a pretty functional cryptocurrency portfolio that updates in real time. So let's get into how to do that. So all I've done here is basically filled out some columns and listed the five cryptocurrencies that Microsoft Excel currently supports. Unfortunately, there are no other cryptocurrencies that are available right now. That includes Dogecoin, most unfortunately, but we're just going to have to deal with these five because they are arguably the most popular cryptocurrencies out there. Okay, so the first thing we need to know about using Excel is that Excel can pull live data about these cryptocurrencies, but you need to know the correct codes. Okay, so what we're going to do, and this is a little bit different from how we pull data on stocks that I've talked about in other videos, we're going to type the cryptocurrency code. So for Bitcoin, that is BTC. And then we're going to put a slash. And then we're going to put whatever currency you feel most comfortable with. So I'm just going to use US dollars here. And what we're going to do is press on data and then stocks, not currency stocks. Then we'll get the cryptocurrency and the normal currency that it's compared to. We can do this for all sorts of currencies. So I can go Bitcoin Euro and we'll get the price of Bitcoin in euros. I'm going to do Bitcoin Australian dollar. I can do Bitcoin Hong Kong dollar or Bitcoin British pound. But anyway, for this video, we're just going to stick with US dollars. So Bitcoin cash, we're going to put BCH slash USD and we should get Bitcoin Cash, US dollar, Ethereum, ETH slash USD, Litecoin is LTC slash USD, and Ripple is XRP slash USD. Okay, so that's the most important part done. Now, what that what this means is that we can now pull live data about these coins, and I'll show you how. So let's just assume we have one Bitcoin, 10 Bitcoin Cash, 10 Ethereum, 10 Litecoin, and 1000 Ripple. Just before we go any further, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could just leave a like on the video. It really helps my small channel out. And it's all I ask for providing these videos free of charge. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. We, we do interesting videos like this all the time, so it'd be great to have you on board with us. But let's go back to the video. Okay, so here's how we do this. We select the, the square with the house on it, which is a link. And then because price is our next column, we're going to go down and find price. There we have it, $58,764.67. Now with Bitcoin Cash, so let's do the same for Bitcoin Cash, price $1,021.87. And you can actually do it all collectively. So if you just drag it all down like here, you can find price and they'll all fill out. So what we're going to do now is work out the value of our hypothetical cryptocurrency positions. So we're going to put in a formula equals this cell, the price cell times the number of coins owned. There we go. It's just obviously the same for Bitcoin, but if we do the same thing here times, and what you can do is just drag the same formula down like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just even them up a bit. So instead of 1000 ripple, we're going to go 10,000 ripple and that will give us 15,000. Instead of 10 Litecoin, we're going to go 15. Actually, you know, let's go 150. Um, for Ethereum, we'll stick with 10. For Bitcoin Cash, let's make it 20. And you can also do fractions. So 
I understand most of you out there probably don't have one whole Bitcoin. So let's go 0 0.5, same thing. All right, so what we're going to do next is work out what, what percent of your portfolio does each coin worth? So there's a few ways you can do this. The, the easiest one is to do something like this. We're going to go total portfolio value. Um, let's just tidy this up a bit. Um, and we're going to use the auto sum feature, which is a formula auto sum. There we go. So the total value of our portfolio, make that bold, is $139,531.84. So what we're going to do, just to work out a simple percentage, again, type in equals, we're going to go this number divided by the total value of the portfolio. And that will give us a decimal and we will just convert that into a percentage. There you go, slightly more accurate. Again, we'll do the same thing, equals this cell divided by the total portfolio. There we go. Now, if we put a dollar sign here and a dollar sign here, we can now just drag down the formula and it will automatically apply. So these numbers should, so these numbers should all add up to 100 and they do. Excellent. So what we're going to do next is pull the 52 week high and the 52 week low data so we can see how our cryptocurrencies are traveling. So first of all, 52 week high, there we go. 52 week low, there we go. So now we can just see how the value of our cryptocurrencies has changed over time and how they're looking compared to their high and low points of the year. As you can see, Bitcoin is pretty close to the top, as is Bitcoin Cash, as is Ethereum. Litecoin's a little bit, a little bit away from its high and Ripple is Ripple. So the last metric we're going to look at now is the change. Now this metric will tell you how much the price of the cryptocurrency has changed compared to its price of the previous day. So what we're going to do is same thing again go into change percentage and then we have the metric there. I usually like to put the, if it's a, a positive change in, in, we'll make it green. As you can see, there's no negative changes here at the moment. I'm also going to make the 52 week highs green just to make it look a little smarter and the 52 week lows red. You can also do something like make the price blue that's a nice touch, but you don't have to. So here you go, guys. This is how to build a simple cryptocurrency portfolio in Microsoft Excel. It's not perfect, but there are a lot of tools there that can really make it easier if you have a small cryptocurrency portfolio, particularly if you only hold some of the larger ones out there. If you have other cryptocurrencies, you can always just enter the data manually. I know Google has most cryptocurrency data now. So if you have some Stellar Lumens or some Dogecoin or anything else, you can make your own separate entry. We can also drag this across to make if you want to make it look, look a bit neater like that. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be back with some more videos soon. But for now, good night.